This season, there was a massive obstacle for both myself and for everyone here at Motherland. I want to offer my utmost gratitude to everybody that gave me space and gave me healing time and being so accommodating um, because I was in a car accident while shooting episode one of season three. Um, and it really put a wrench in everything. Help! No! What's happening? What's going on? Don't let her go! I love you! After the initial shock and gratitude that my co-star and friend was okay, I didn't know how we were gonna shoot the rest of the season. Luckily, we had some creative groundwork where it made sense for the mycelium to take Rael for safekeeping for a number of episodes because she's so important to what's coming. They really adjusted the trajectory so that I had time to heal and there was still a beautiful element to our storytelling. Mother is going to take care of you from now on. We see some glimpses of Rael when she's in this kind of limbo state, and then when she comes back, it's just, it's just like, oh, she's back. I felt like I was whole again. We started this together. We should end it together. I think Rael, at the end of season three, shows a lot more selflessness. She knows that her purpose calls her far greater than anything she can fathom that is tangible to her. But the beginning, when you first meet Rael, she's quite bratty. I'm Tally Craven, and this is Abigail Bellwether. Onward to glory, soldiers. Rah, 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 sounds like a poster. I actually found her quite hard to like, so there was a bit of dissonance as, as, as to how I would approach a new situation and meeting new people, and she at first applies resistance. She's quite reserved, she's quite angry. She felt she didn't really have anything to fight for at all, but as she grows, she starts to let people in, and the rings get a little bigger, the layers get a little deeper, and she finds companionship and friendship, and she finds love, and that gives her purpose to fight for. It's probably the first time in my life I ever felt like I had a future to dream about. Having genuine trust in each other, I think, is what carried us the whole arc of our relationship. And it wouldn't have been the same with anybody else. I think we really won the lottery with our chemistry. And even when the cameras aren't looking to keep that connection and to keep playing with each other and just seeing what we could find. And I'm very grateful for Amalia and for everything she gave to this partnership. And for Rael and Scylla, they move out to a duck farm and have 10,000 baby ducks. <laughs> um, that's, what, that's what I hope will happen. You'll just have to watch to find out. Motherland's given me the last four years of my life. It's seen me through a lot of obstacles and uh, a lot of emotional growth, so it's hard to part with. You pushed me to look inside myself, to dare to face my darkness. I don't know how well I'd be doing if I didn't step into this career or this show. A lot of our audience members have, have given me my only sense of consistency. It gave me purpose, so selfishly thank you.